This is the unboxing video of the Radeon HD 5750 from ATI. The current card I have comes from Sapphire, this is the Mac manufacturer. And it, this card has a 1GB of D, GDDR5 RAM. Uh, there's also a, other variants that have a 512MB of GDDR5. But this current card has 1GB. Uh, it comes with a 2 years warranty from Convergent Singapore because this card is bought in Singapore. Okay, let's go look over here. Both ATI Premium Graphics and A this is AMD Vision Black. So black is actually the higher end models of the graphics cards. And I ATI Infinity Multi Display Technology, mean, uh, which means you can actually hook up this to multiple displays and have only one desktop display, so you can get a very, um, a very good gameplay experience on the ATI Infinity Technology. And there is an onboard HDMI and display port, and this is Crossfire X ready, so you can put this up to 4 to cat go into a quad fire configuration. And ATI Stream technology, which allows you to render your videos faster. This also means that um, your video rendering, if you are doing a lot of video rendering, or maybe you want this for a workstation, you can actually use this video card, uh, which is quite powerful. Okay, let's unbox it. Sorry. Firstly, we have a warranty card from, from Convergent Systems. Oops. I think I opened it the wrong way. Over here, you say stop. You must connect the graphics card to the computer's power supply. Okay, it will teach you how to connect the 6 pin power connector from your power supply to the graphics card. Moving on, we have a crossfire bridge, a PCI Express 6 pin um, to a 1 to 1 Molex connector, and at the bottom. We have the Sapphire installation drivers, download the latest drivers from ATR.com, a VGA to HDMI converter, and quick installation guide, as well as, oh, it, it explains that the anti-static bag is actually quite sensitive and you shouldn't put too much pressure on the graphics card. Oh, the cooler is protected from a scratch from a transparent sheet. We'll remove the transparent sheet before installation. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the card itself. I'm really sorry. I'm only... Okay, this is a very cool looking Sapphire. This is HD5750 from Sapphire. I repeat. Instead of a normal egg shaped cooler, it's actually looking a lot better with the Sapphire logo. Um, I believe that this is a third party cooler. And over here, you can see the PCI Express 6 pin, con uh, six -pin connector. Uh, this is the PCI Express 2.0. We have two DVI, one HDMI, and one display port output. For the specification of this card, okay, we have actually there's only 1.04 billion of 40 nanometer transistors, and followed by 720 stream processors, 36 texture units, and uses GDDR5 memory. And oh yeah, this is actually a uh, DirectX 11 support, so it's the latest DirectX, and um, there also has a ATI Avivo technolo HD technology which allows your videos to be actually clearer and brighter. And the engine clock is at 700 MHz and the processing power is at 1.008 teraflops. And uh, basically, memory clock is at 1.15 GHz. 
uh, memory data rate is at 4.6 gigabits per second memory bandwidth is 70 73.6 gigabytes per second and the maximum board power is actually 86 watts so it's actually a lot more um, power efficient compared to the previous generation of cards from ATI the 4000 series and the idle board power is actually at 16 watts so actually performance although it may be a little bit more expensive than the previous generation of cards but uh, for uh, if you are going for a long run you'll be definitely cheaper because uh, of the safe of the savings you get from a reduced um, electricity bill overall this is the end of the whole review I hope that you like this video card and do comment on this video do let me know more about what you think about this uh, graphics card and also uh, do comment about my videos and also take a look at other videos as well. Thank you very much. This is Bob from TechGeekSG signing off. For more information about this product, you can visit my blog at www.zoomycom.blogspot.com or feel free to email me at wisezook.techgeekSG at gmail.com. Thank you.